Watching results roll in, the Oregon governor's race finalized. Christine Drazen is a presumptive Republican nominee after Bob Tiernan conceded the race just this afternoon. She now faces former Speaker of the House, Democrat Tina Kotek. But then there's a third candidate causing a whole lot of buzz, former state senator Betsy Johnson. And of course, this could be historic. Brandon Thompson speaking with each of the candidates in this big race. And it's historic for a few reasons here, Brandon. Yeah, one, the fundraising from Johnson's campaign alone could make a spat, splash. Her ads have been running as the unaffiliated candidate throughout the primary. Three women are making their case for governor, but they all tell me their gender may be one of the few things they have in common. A campaign for change. If Oregonians are looking for a new direction, then I'm your girl. My candidacy represents a rare opportunity to put Oregon ahead of party. Well, I've never been comfortable with the status quo. Even Kotech separating herself from Kate Brown's governorship as Johnson, the unaffiliated candidate, and Drazen, the Republican nominee, both say the former Speaker of the House would be more of the same. Several polls show Oregonians want a change with homelessness, one of the top priorities. We've got to put in place measures that keep just perpetuating that it's okay to stay on the streets. Uh, we have got to get these tent cities broken down and get people into the services that they need. When I talk about how I'm going to lead on this issue, it is to establish a relationship with Portland that sets expectations that will in fact mean that they are not just encouraged to help clear their streets, I will be a partner with them in that work. So there's the immediate needs we're going to address on day one. And then it is about building a plan for the future to get more housing and the types of long-term solutions that we all want at the end of the day. As homicides and shootings have risen significantly in Portland, public safety is a growing concern for voters. Johnson and Drazen support funding more police. Kotex supports more options. We need to make sure the police can respond to the violent crimes and make sure we have other professionals on the streets who can help people in a mental health crisis or address an issue of like a property crime. We have to hold the police accountable for good behavior with uh, and professional behavior with the citizens that they interact with, but we definitely need more law enforcement. We will support law, local law enforcement to ensure that they have the tools that they need to stop violent crime and make our neighborhoods and communities more safe. And we're just learning from the Associated Press confirming this race that Drazen, they believe, will be the winner of the Republican nomination. Now, this election will test voters' diligence. Drazen is trying to pay Kotech, and Johnson is one of the same. Kotech is doing the same with Drazen and Johnson. And then Johnson says the other two are just too extreme. Guys. Yeah, it's going to be interesting how much millions is spent as we head into the fall on this governor's race. Brandon, thank you. And COIN6 is your local election headquarters. We'll bring you full updates on the vote count right here on COIN and online at COIN.com. Remember, we have all those votes in Clackamas County still to come in. And COIN6 